You can find a universe in a drop of water, and your microscope will show you the way. This video is for the Life Science Lab, Lesson 1.12, Using a Microscope. The lab has two parts. Download and print the lab instructions and questions from the online school. If you have access to a pond, river, or ocean, you can do Part A. If you have access to soil from your yard, a nearby park or construction site, or from a store, you can do Part B. If you have access to both, you can do both parts. You will need the following materials for this lab. Cover slips, microscope slides, and a compound microscope. You'll also need soil, pond water, an eyedropper or pipette or straw, and tap water. Part A. If you're near a pond, river, or ocean, collect some of this water into a jar or a Ziploc bag. Take your samples home. Use a pipette, eyedropper, or straw to pick up some pond water from the top of the sample and place a small water drop onto the microscope slide. Be very careful. Cover slips are thin glass and are very fragile. Place a cover slip on top of the drop, placing one edge on the slide, and then carefully lowering the cover slip onto the water drop. It may take some practice to get this right. Place the microscope slide onto the microscope. Adjust the drop so it's under the lens. Hold the slide down with the slide clips. Start with the lowest power objective lens first, and while looking from the side, Crank the lens down as close to the specimen as possible without touching it. Now, look through the eyepiece lens and focus upward only until the image is sharp. If you can't get it in focus, repeat the process again. Once you have a sharp image with a low power lens, you should be able to simply click in the next power lens and do minor adjustments with the focus knob. Look for any microscopic organisms, such as algae or amoebas. Draw any organisms you see under the microscope in your science notebook. Now, use a pipette, eyedropper, or straw to pick up some pond water from the bottom of the sample and repeat the same procedure with the microscope. Part B. If you have access to some soil, either from your yard, a nearby park or construction site, or from a store, collect some of that soil in a Ziploc bag. Take your samples home. Put some water in the soil. Use a pipette, eyedropper, or straw to pick up some of the water and place a drop onto the microscope slide. Repeat the same procedure with the microscope as in Part A. Look for any microscopic organisms, such as algae or amoebas. Draw any organisms you see under the microscope in your science notebook. Now, answer the questions on your worksheet.